I am the manifesting goddess. I ended up manifesting a job within three days. An administrative assistant job. Sitting on my ass getting paid $17 an hour. Answering phones and emails. The job was five minutes from my house. He is never going to take something away from you and not give you something better. Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. And on today's episode, we are going to be talking about how losses are always wins. It does not matter what you are going through, what you lost, it is always a win. It just depends on your perspective and your perception of that loss. And what I mean by that is losing your job is not a loss. And I know the first thing that comes to your mind is how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to take care of my kids? How am I going to feed myself? But you have to change your perspective. God is redirecting you. He is rerouting your life. He is never going to take something away from you and not replace it with something better. That job was not serving you. That job did not value you. That job did not see your worth. You are a slave to that job. They told you what to wear. They told you how long you can work and how long you can earn money. You have to ask to go to the bathroom, ask for your break, ask to take time off. If you have an emergency with your family, you do not get paid. God is pushing you towards something better, like he did for me. Because last year, I went to Cancun for my birthday, and I Bible. The day that I came back was a Sunday. I was supposed to work that Monday. I quit Ross. I could not do it. I don't know if it was because I was on vacation and when I came back, reality sunk in. Like, I am working eight hours a day to support somebody else's dream. I quit that job right then and there, as soon as I touched down. But then reality also sunk back in. Like, oh shit, you have bills you have to pay. You have two goddaughters you have to take care of, and you have to take care of yourself. I am the manifesting goddess. I ended up manifesting a job within three days. An administrative assistant job. Sitting on my ass getting paid $17 an hour. Answering phones and emails. The job was five minutes from my house. He is never going to take something away from you and not give you something better. Now this job, I worked from seven to three. And in my head, I'm a hustler. So I'm like, okay, this gives me enough time to get a second job, working from four to maybe 11. While I'm at work on my break or while I'm at work when it's slow, I'm looking up other jobs, filling out applications. And on my grandfather, less than a week later, I ended up getting COVID. I got laid off from that job. I'm not gonna say fired because they laid me off because they quote unquote terminated the position altogether. They were like, you've been gone for two weeks, you were sick, we figured out a way how to do the position without you. Okay, cool. I am stressed. I'm like, I just quit Ross. Like, just didn't show up for my shift. And then I find a new job four days later, paying me more, a lot closer, and I get laid off. And mind you, I had just started. So I couldn't be sick for two weeks. I was so stressed. Sitting at home, depressed, had anxiety, worried. Cause now my half of the rent is falling on somebody else. But then I started Seiko's Intuition, November 1st of 2022. And I have not worked for anybody else in the past six and a half months. I wake up and I do what I want. 
if I want to get up and record at 8, 9 o'clock like it is right now, I can do that. If I don't want to and I want to sleep in and record at 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I can do that. My birthday's in a few weeks. I'm going out of the country. I don't have to ask nobody for permission. I don't have to ask my manager for extra hours to get extra money. They are never losses. Same way if you get sick or you get hospitalized. That happened to Tabitha Brown. She could not understand why she kept having headaches every single day for a year and a half. She went vegan for 30 days and completely changed her life. Now she is the most known, most famous vegan person that I know. Some people would have seen that as a loss, like, oh my gosh, my health is declining. I have headaches every day. I can't function. I can't work. This is just too much. You know, now I have to go vegan. I miss my pork. I miss my chicken. But look at that. Her going vegan and changing her life over 10, 15 years ago made her to who she is today. Same thing with that relationship that you think you lost. Because I've told you guys before, y'all keep trying to hold on to things that the devil put into your life. And God is trying to remove it. So if you got cheated on or somebody left you for somebody else or that person just did not want to be with you, that is not a loss. God sees things that we cannot see. He knows plans and motives that we don't know about. He is protecting you. If I was still with my ex and that person didn't hurt me the way they did, which propelled me into wanting to love myself more, which also propelled me into my purpose, I would not be doing this. Now I'm not giving my ex any credit because I put in this work, I came up with the name, I do my videos, I'm the one being consistent. But that trauma is what triggered my spiritual awakening. It's what triggered my purpose. It is not a loss. And trust me, when that situation was going on, I was devastated. I was not eating. I was not sleeping. I could not even get up and go to work. I told you guys that. I quit Chick-fil-A when that situation happened. Go watch my um, How I Almost Got 10 Years to Life video. It is not a loss. You have to change your perspective. Stop always victimizing yourself. Stop thinking that you are cursed or that God doesn't love you or he don't hear your prayers. If somebody in your family passes away, that is heartbreaking. It can sometimes be traumatizing. But change your perspective. You gained an angel. You gained an ancestor. You gain somebody who was going to watch over you for the rest of your life. Because I was devastated when my grandfather passed away. Devastated. Me and him were like this. I was that grandchild who lived with their grandparent. But I had to change my perspective. He is no longer suffering. He completed his life purpose. Now God had to call him back home. I get dreams about my grandfather. My grandfather comes and visits me in my sleep. Sometimes he would look up at my mother and he'd come into my room and I'd be like, Grandpa, wrong room. But like, you have to see and find the good in life for your own sake and your own peace. You have to find the good in everything, even death. There's women out here who has gotten raped and assaulted and now they're motivational speakers, speaking to hundreds of thousand people in auditoriums and stadiums, getting paid so much money to talk about what they've been through, to tell their story and their testimony. They're getting paid to have one-on-one -on -one coaching and help other people heal. It is always a win, you guys. Everybody wants to have a testimony, but you can't have a testimony until you are tested. But I am Seiko Kayori, the Manifesting Goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Oh, yeah, don't forget, on Sunday, this week's activity is to remain positive, to reprogram your mind. Anytime you have a negative thought,
push that out and replace that with a positive one. Y'all got this. Seven days of consistent positive thinking. Bye.